Okay, how should a young Christian cope with stress and pressure without running away from the problem? Or, or as we say, going ghost. Going ghost? Yeah. Is that like just disappearing? Yeah, like some people, they might be going through like something, forget addressing the problem, dipset, like you can't reach them, you don't hear from them, you don't see them, so that's what we call going ghost. Well, it's funny because it's actually counter to what the word asks us to do as believers, which is not to forsake the fellowship of the brethren. It says that in Hebrews. And that's not necessarily meaning you better be in church on Sunday. What it means is you need to be in fellowship with like-minded people because they help you. You can confess your sins one to another. All those kind of scriptures that we read, you need somebody else to do it. So if we just go ghost, it's a problem. Um, Proverbs 81 says that someone who basically pulls himself away, seeks their own desires um, and rages against all sound judgment and sound wisdom, which is what they're doing. They're seeking their own desires. So if they want to just you know, go away, they're doing it because of how they feel, not realising that actually God is greater than how you feel and the group is greater than how you feel and they could actually help you to get out of this situation or may have advice for you. But if you lock yourself away, you'll never find that out and you could pray about it all day long, but God's got two or three people who have already been through it who could help you. Yeah. So isolation is not a good idea. I wouldn't say that blanket because there's times when God will say, move away, you know, pray, study, do what you need to do, even on a practical level. God might say, finish your exams, you don't need to be at church on Sunday morning. I know for some people that's going to be too much. But that might be the case. So we've got to use, again, wisdom. Um, Jesus had to go away sometimes to pray and be on his own. He wasn't with the disciples all the time. So we need it too. But it has to be for a good and a positive reason. If it's just to hide away from your issues and your problems, you're not honouring God and you're not proving God. Because actually facing your demons, facing your problems, is exercising your faith. Mm. Afterwards, after going through the war and things are settled, you feel okay. If things are just quiet and there's problems that go around in your head, even though it might be quiet around you, there's still a war going on in your head because you haven't addressed this, you haven't settled it. But when you have and it's sorted, you can sleep soundly. So we have to go through problems sometimes to get to the place of real peace. And if God is with us, as we say, God is with me, for who can be against me? If we really mean that, we will address these issues.